Uh, so tell us what it was like to be back in the Star Wars universe playing Rey. Um, it was nerve wracking being back playing Rey. I think the first time around was so fun and it was, <coughs> everything happened so quickly um, that I didn't really hold many uh, expectations. And then obviously, because the reaction to the first one was really wonderful, but then suddenly I was like, expectations. So it was more scary, but being surrounded by a wonderful cast and crew obviously uh, made that go away. And then it was just great. And how has the character matured and in, in what has she learned from? As of, uh, where, the, where the, the film takes off, Ray has learned nothing that the audience hasn't seen. And I think what's great is because we're picking up with her story right where we left off, she's asking questions that the audience are asking. So any sort of emotional growth she's having, the audience is having too. She's asking questions that other people are wondering. Um, and I think it's great because anything she's experiencing, the audience is seeing. They're right with her there. Uh, Ray is a heroine that is adored by young girls, women, and guys that like badass heroines. And um, what are the attributes that make her a role model to all those people that love her? I think the attributes that anyone has that make people like them tend to be that they make other people feel good, that they try and do the right thing, and that they're nice to be around. And I think in this, uh, like Ray was alone for so long and then meets BB-8 and immediately would do anything to help BB-8 and then meets Finn and immediately would do anything to help Finn um, and is open to relationships and open to adventures. And so I think, I think it's that, it's like an openness and a willingness and a kindness that she has. Nice, nice. Uh, and tell us about Ray's look in this film, how it's different. Um, Ray's look, we begin uh, in the look we left her with, and then the look we go into is more warrior, or as Americans say, warrior, um, which I always found hilarious, is more warrior and for me feels more, um, uh, for me it seemed more like the Kurosawa type of thing that, that Star Wars originally had so much of. Um, it, for me, it felt really cool because it felt more like uh, a martial arty feeling, um, an Asian-inspired feeling, which was uh, cool, which was really cool, and it was great to move in in the fight. And um, the, the Star Wars films, the last one and this one, have amazing practical, detailed sets. What was it like to work on the? Uh, I hear more massive. Yeah. Um, uh, it was awesome to work on everything. M like my favorite, and Ryan's talked about it too, is actually being in Ireland, which is a set that obviously was worked on too, but it's just a natural set, which was so beautiful um, and wonderful to be at. And because we st sort of started there, when you then get back to the set, you're already rooted in that place that you actually were. And I think so much work was done to make us feel like we were actually in a place and that it wasn't a stage. The sets are unbelievable seriously they're unbelievable and it looks so it looks so good so hopefully people will feel that too i'm sure i'm sure the, um uh you've been introduced already for the force awakens uh the, the fandom the star wars fans are a unique uh breed mm -hmm. um how has that uh, changed your life or how are you embracing that um I think there's an awful lot that's wrong in the world at the moment. And to be part of something that people think is right is wonderful. And as an actor too, you couldn't really ask for much more. To be in something that everyone has a different opinion, everybody has a different story about where their love came from, about where their love took them for the Star Wars world. Um, that it's overwhelming at times because I was never really like a big fan of anything. Um, but to see the love that people feel for something that I think is inclusive and wonderful and brings people together is uh, fantastic. And last question, uh, what do you want audiences to come away from this film with? I think the beauty of Star Wars is that people have take so many different things away from it. Like ultimately it's a family story but then some people prefer the ship, some people prefer the creatures, some people prefer... It's, it's, it's a whole own thing. So I hope and I think there is um, much that will please a lot of people in The Last Jedi, but also enough that people will have their own experience of it and take their own thing, be that 
the relationship between Luke and Ray, be that re the relationship between Finn and Rose, or the Porgs, or, you know, or the island, whatever that may be. Hey, Vali here, so I hope you liked the video. Do you think the actors play the realistic characters? Well, some actors go to great lengths to get everything perfect for the characters they portray. Take Jamie Foxx, for example, for his role as Ray Charles in the movie Ray. Fox lost 30 pounds by fasting for a full week and then doing daily workouts and adhering to a strict diet. But the real commitment came during filming when Fox agreed to wear prosthetic eyelids glued over his eyes to mimic Charles's blindness. It caused the actor to have panic attacks during the early weeks of shooting and crew members would sometimes leave him on set forgetting he couldn't see. In addition, Fox, who went uh, on to win Oscar gold for the performance, learned to play all of the piano parts in the film. Wow. Now, remember, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more content. Bye-bye.